everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Gail, and whether it's about dermatology or sharing a piece of my personal world, I am here to bring authenticity and knowledge straight to you. For today's Derm Talk series, we're doing a special Getting to Know Me session. I recently reached out on Instagram and TikTok and invited my followers to ask me anything, from my life as a mother, content creator, global speaker, to my journey as a board certified dermatologist. So, here are the questions that I got. Actually, sobrang dami niya, pero pinili lang namin yung feeling ko relevant to this topic of getting to know me. So, syempre, the first question here is, why dermatology? What is the best part of being a derm? So, actually, to be completely honest, dermatology was not my first choice. I wanted to become an ophthalmologist at the start because in our family, meron kaming degenerative eye condition called retinitis pigmentosa and I really wanted to be an ophthalmologist because maybe, mali mo, di ba makadiscover ako ng treatment or anything. And then, after that, when I started dealing more and more with patients, I really found skin conditions interesting kasi kita mo siya eh. So, when a patient sees that he or she has like a skin condition, pumunta agad siya sa doctor. And to add to that, when patients get better, kitang kita agad nila. So, there's sort of a fulfillment on my part. What's the best part of being a derm? Well, it's something that I'm really interested in. Skin and, you know, uh, looking good and everything is really part of what I like to do as a person. So, making it a part of my daily life is actually very enjoyable. And then, of course, I get to do other things, um, meet new people, and fun. The best part of being a derm. <laughs> Next question, can you share with us your journey to becoming a dermatologist? Was it your childhood dream? Actually, it wasn't. Naalala ko nung bata pa ako, gusto ko maging commercial mo. <laughs> True story. In the province, I would copy yung mga nakikita ko na commercial models on TV, like the toothpaste or shampoo, whatnot. Being a doctor, I guess, was just really something that, I don't want to call it brainwash, but it was a big influence by my relatives because I have a lot of doctor relatives from both my mom's and my dad's side. And parang growing up, it was normal for me to see, you know, people in white coats or like going to the hospital and such. So it became sort of like second nature to me. I was really comfortable about being a doctor. In fact, my college course was nothing related to medicine. But when I graduated, parang Andun pa rin yung calling ko. Even if my course was in computers and management, I still decided to become a doctor. And journey to becoming a dermatologist, well, usually college and then medicine. And then I take the boards and then I took a three-year residency in dermatology. And then after that, I found out that my interest was really in aesthetic medicine. And I did a lot of trainings, like mga short trainings na abroad, attending conferences, etc. So yeah. Okay, next question. This is something that I always get asked. How do you keep your skin, hair, and nails healthy? So, una una, because I'm a dermatologist, I think that it's part of the job description. But honestly, whatever your skin, hair, and nails look like is 40% genetics. You would probably wonder, bakat yung classic ko hindi naman shadow ng aalaga ng balat ang ganda ganda ng balat niya. Kasi nga, maganda yung skin genes niya. But, you shouldn't worry because ngayon, with advancements in technology and everything else around us, nag-level na yung playing field. So what's important really is basic skin care. You know, properly cleaning your skin, applying the right products, understanding what your skin needs, and of course, regular checkup with your derm if you have existing skin conditions. Apart from that, it has to be a holistic approach. You can't just rely on skincare products and treatments. You have to also treat your body as a whole. So kailangan yung lifestyle mo, healthy, balanced diet, uh, minimize drinking alcohol alcoholic beverages, exercise daily, you know, get enough sleep, etc. So, holistic siya. So, that's how I advise that you care for your skin here in Next question. Naku, parang sa age ko, ay nakalimutan ko na to ah. Wait. When you were young, what were your likes and desires? Actually, when you're young, kasi ano eh, you see the world differently. It's like, everything is simple. Everything is like happy and positive. So naalala ko nung bata, gusto ko lang kumain sa labas. Gusto ko lang manood ng sine. Uh, di ba ngayon kasi iba na ngayon eh. I often talk to my children and I tell them how different life was before. It was really much, much simpler. And parang makita mo lang yung mga pinsan mo or kumain lang kayo sa restaurant, masaya ka na eh. So looking back, what did I really like? I like being with people I love. I like to travel. And I like experiences. Yun talaga yung mga gusto ko ng bata pa. Okay, ito, ito nakakatawa tong question na to. Pero sige, sagutin natin to. 
Why did you choose that profession? Why not pag-artista? <laughs> Una-una natawa ako, naisip mo na uh, pwede akong maging artista. Pero thank you. I appreciate that. When I was young, I really wanted to be a commercial model. True story. As in, numara pa ako sa Salamin, tapos ginagaya ko yung mga commercial model, nag-act act ako in front of the Salamin. But, you know, um, as you get older nga, parang things change. Like, your likes, desires, whatever, your environment changes as you get older. So, I guess the opportunities that were presented my way did not lead me to that. But, you know, I'm not closing my doors naman to anything. Eh. It's not even just being pag-artis. Meron pa isang tanong dito eh. May bala ka ba, Doc, ever pumasok sa politics? Well, you know what? Right now, I'm gonna tell you, no, I'm not even thinking about it. As in, hindi ko malang siya naisip. But, you know what? Life always brings us new things. So, I'm not saying no. I'm not saying never. I learned my lesson about that. So, sana nasagot ko yung tanong mo sa pag-artist. Okay, what's my happy food? Actually, gutom na ako ngayon. And I've been telling them kanina pa. Mag-order na ng food. So, ngayon, ang niisip ko talang kainin. Fried chicken, like chicken wings and sushi. Those are my comfort food. <laughs> Question number nine. Number nine, ba? Di ko na dito na ako. Eh. How close are you to your parents? Well, ito a major touchy topic, to, and because I'm an only child, I treat my parents as friends. I can imagine that other people have different experiences. For me, bi- bilang isang magulang na rin New York, ang importante sa akin respect. You don't want your children to follow you because they fear you. Kailangan you respect each other as individuals so that your relationship nyo will be the same from when you're young and when you're older. And ako, I've always been open to my parents. Pag meron akong issue or pag meron akong problema, sina yung unang-una kong naisip na puntahan. Not my friends, not my colleagues. It's really my parents. And, I, and that's what I want my children also to believe and to follow. Your family should be your core. Sila yung dapat pinagkukunan mo ng lakas, ng loo, ng guidance, inspiration, everything. So, I hope that answered your question. Number 10, how do I keep in shape? Actually, I don't. New Year's resolution ka na to in the last 5 to 10 years to work out and give time to care for my body. But I guess, like I said, it's genetics. So, sorry to lang ako na hindi talaga ako matabain or maggain ng weight when I eat. But, Having said that, because nga, I'm not getting any younger, I really have to make time to care for my body by doing exercise, weight bearing exercises, etc. Ako yung dapat magpaturo sa ibang tao how to keep in shape. Next, ito super controversial and alam mo pag sinagot ko to, baka maubos yung oras natin, but sige. What treatments have you done on your face? Sobrang dami, guys. And it's not because I want to change the way I look. Contrary to what other people believe, when people do treatments, it's really because they want to improve or maintain how they look and feel. So for me, I've done fillers, I've done botulinum toxin injections, I've done lasers, I do regular facials. I have a lot of skincare products that I use, I've done surgery. So I think this one is best saved for an entire YouTube video. So abangan nyo yan, guys. Next, if you could give one piece of advice to your younger self, what would it be? Okay, nakakanalim ng mga talong ng mga guys. Marami kayong pinaghuhuta. But siguro piece of advice, huwag kang masyadong matakot. I remember when I was young, I gave up a lot of opportunities kasi natatakot ako mag-fail. So I think one of the best advice I would probably give my younger self would be, do not be afraid of failure. Yun lang yan, because in failure, you learn a lot of things. And actually, a lot of people who succeed, they failed so many times. So yun yung advice sa sarili ko. Kasi talagang sobrang dami kong ginivap ng mga bagay kasi nung natakot ako matahiya. Natakot ako mag-fail. Wow, next question. Ito parang, baka serious. Kutan ko na ba to? How do you deal with people who are hell-bent on bringing you down? Maybe you wanna ask if I have bashers and how do I deal with them? Actually, I am thankful that I went into this industry, but I went into content creation at this age. Kasi medyo ano na ako, eh, matanda na ako. So a lot of the, the things that other people say about me don't affect me anymore. But I can imagine that if I were younger, kasi when I was younger, I, I remember that what people said about me, whether or not I knew them, mattered so much. Na affect talaga ako. But because nga I think at this age, parang alam ko na ko ano yung strength ko, alam ko na ko saan ako magaling, alam ko na yung mga kahinaan ko. When people say bad things about me, and I don't believe in them. 
it doesn't really affect me. And I also believe that when you put yourself out there on social media, kailangan ready ka. Fair game. Because you put yourself publicly out there, when people say bad things about you, kailangan kinonsider mo na yun. So, how do I deal with bashers? Well, for me, it's really more like I don't worry about them unless it's a loved one or someone who matters to me. I continue doing what I love to do as long as I'm not hurting anybody, as long as I'm not harming other people. Tuloy tuloy lang ako. And sometimes these bashers, if you actually read or understand what they're trying to say, na katulong din naman siya. Because you know, you also need criticisms from people who see you from the outside. So, ganun lang siya. Ganun yung interpretation ko dyan. So guys, marap na tayong matapos. How do you balance family and career? So, ito very important because, syempre, all of us, we want to advance in life. Ako nga lagi ko sinasabi sa husband ko, parang grabe sabi ko sana may 36 hours in one day. Because, with so many things I wanna do, minsan, nasacrifice ko na talaga yung sleep. Family time is included in that. Open communication is very, very important. And ako, I always ask my husband and my family members to give me feedback kung nasasobrahan na ba ako in doing what I'm doing. How to balance? It's very, very hard. I'm probably not the best person to ask because I'm a workaholic, admittedly. But feeling ko, kailangan mong magbigay ng time sa sanili mo, sa family mo, and to your career. How to do that? I really haven't figured that out right now. And I would definitely appreciate, I don't know, advice. Maybe you can put it in the comments below. And last question, and siguro, yeah, maybe this is like on the lighter side. What is your favorite perfume scent? So, for those of you who know me, alam nyo na mahilig ako sa mga mababang. When it comes to perfume scent, I like mga floral and fresh smelling um, scents. So, yun lang guys. Oh my God, it's like a combination of serious and not so serious. Marami pang ibang questions. I'm sorry if I wasn't able to answer all of them. A lot of them are related to skin and skincare. I took note of them and maybe in the future, we're going to discuss them in one of my videos. So, I hope that this is something uh, that helped you get to know me a little better. So, thank you guys for the questions. So, there you have it. If you've enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on all things skincare, personal stories, and more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And guys, we're on our way to reaching 100,000 subscribers. So, please, please, please comment below with any thoughts or topics you'd love me to do next. I promise this is just the beginning and together we'll explore so much more. Until next time, see you again in the next video.